How you doing guys? Welcome back to another video. A little bit of a different one today and uh, thought I'd share with you a little project idea that I had and it is to build a clock for my unit. Using a few spares and bits and pieces I've had lying around um, I thought that I'd uh, give it a go and that I might share it with you so hopefully you enjoy it. Alright so this is the rim um, bit of overspray on it which I need to clean off but that's, that's fine, that's easy enough. Put a new valve in it, spare one I had, spare Volk one. So put that to good use. What I'm doing is I'm just going to go over some uh, green scotch pad. I'm just going to go for like a, a matte look. And what I've done already is I've just painted it in some uh, satin black paint that I had. And I'm now going to use this stuff to uh, to try and polish it up, make it look nice. I've ordered some black uh, three millimeter perspex, uh, cut to size, which um, I measured at 29 and a half centimeters or 295 mil. Um, so that'll fit on the back there. I do have some um, quartz clock mechanisms, which I've had previous before, so that's cost me nothing either. And I've uh, ordered some nice bright red hands. Now with regards of the centre, I could leave it with a black perspex, but I have some carbon wrap, 5D carbon wrap, or sort of vintage Toyota sticker, and I've asked for the direct size. So I've got a choice of either two, but uh, yeah, this is basically just going to end up being the clock for my unit, and basically putting an old, what would have been scrapped, uh, wheel rim to use, I suppose. Um, I do like making stuff from up upcycling. It's very cost effective and to be fair you can make some really quirky cool stuff from it so yeah I'll crack on with cleaning this up. do for now. So it's not perfect but I don't really want it to be. As I said it is a used rim and uh, yeah it's come out alright to be fair. I like that matte look. So I say I did already polish uh, sorry paint uh, this yesterday but now what I'm gonna do is just uh, just go over with some polish and just see if I can get it a bit more glossy. Right, there you go. It's not the most perfect paint job, admittedly. It was just a rattle can. And as I say, it's going to be on the wall in my unit anyway. So just giving it a bit more of a, a bit more of a shine, I suppose. Be nice on the wall. The idea I have with this is to actually match my um, my car, my A86, which is silver over black. So what I'm going to try and do is keep everything 
uh, being the same as the car, silver over black. So, black burst backs, and then I'll keep the front all polished like that, just so you get the two colours. And just so it stands out against the black, I've got some really nice bright red uh, hands to go with it. Um, so yeah, it's looking good so far. Alright, so this is the quartz movement. This is a spare one I had from a project about a year or so ago. So that should work lovely. It's come to good use in the end. And what I found with it were these. So as I mentioned, I did actually order a set of red handles. They are plastic, these are metal. But I completely forgot that the movement actually comes with handles. And I quite like the arrow on this, so I have a choice. I may use those or I might I'll wait and see until the other ones turn up and go from there. I've also come across these, and I can't remember when I bought these, years and years ago. And they're just those sort of engine bay dress up washers and uh, countersunk bolts and I funnily enough perfectly had six to come across this old packet and you see it's got dust and dirt and paint and all sorts on it and it's been stored for ages and I come across them looking for something else I thought six of perfect for these um, as you can see closer up where it's had sort of bolts before with like a locking, I don't know what you'd call them, but it has like a like a locking design on the bottom of the flange of the bolt. It's obviously dug into the metal. Whereas these cover it perfect. Now I may end up ordering some black, some anodized black countersink bolts because I think the silver washer with the black think will look quite nice but I don't know they're inexpensive so I may I may buy some and give them a go because I've got a choice of either or but either way these ones have cost me nothing because as I said I've had these for blimey probably five six years and just never found a use for them so perfect so another uh, another good find just found this another cool little add-on that is an Advan dust cap. And I remember Isaac giving me this quite a few years ago when he restored my Vox, which are there, funny enough. So they're my Vox, uh, Vox racing wheels, which Isaac restored a few years ago. And I have raised dust caps. So I actually took this one off. But if I can focus, there's the AV for Advan. But what's pretty cool is, you see there, that's Advan etched into it, which is awesome. So I have like a bag of dust caps, plastic, metal, all sorts. And this was just always a one off, it wasn't a set of four. So it's coming together lovely this little project finding some really cool parts that I managed to put together so really happy so far just thought I'd show you guys these um, as I've just picked them up just got back from a friend of mine Benny he knows I like my um, my old signs and he said he had a few Jap signs for me that I might be interested in so I had to have them got a bus sign here belonged on a bus uh, tobacco sign here and a shop sign not quite sure what this says but I love the patina on this uh, this one I'll just give a quick wipe over and added a bit of wax that's come out really nice um, they're all double sided this one did look a bit sorry for itself like this so I thought I'd give it a clean and see how it came out I'm really happy with it so I need to find a bit of room I do have my my signage there I've got a bit of room up there which I'll uh, which I think I'll utilise. 
But yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys these. You might be interested. I do like my uh, my Japanese bits and pieces. So when he said he had something, I, I had to have it. And at the same time, I picked this up. Very random, I know. But a 1950s uh, fire extinguisher. Solid brass lid. Quite weighty, so that'll polish up nice. But yeah, all original. This is going to be an upcycling project. Um, same with the clock, which we're currently doing. Um, I do like my upcycling, but what's awesome about this, and please do mention in the comments if you guys know how this would have worked, but yeah, come with this awesome glass um, bottle. So I'm not quite sure how these fire extinguishers worked back in the 1950s, but I just loved it. It was quirky. And um, yeah, I thought I'm going to try and make something out of that. I like all the original paintwork and stuff, and I think I'll polish up really nice, a bit of wax. So yeah, just thought I'd show you these random bits that I've just picked up uh, whilst I was waiting for bits to arrive for the clock. So yeah, now I've got those bits, um, I'll continue with it. Okay, what well, seems a bit of an eternity later, um, had a few issues with a company who was going to produce this for me. Uh, but I managed to find a company and they did a brilliant job and I've received it now. And it's this company here, uh, Perspex Sheet UK. Brilliant. So it's three millimetres thick. Um, I measured it, sent them the dimensions I required. They, they cut it for me, so that's brilliant. Saves me messing around with it. Um, also, it's been polished. I haven't taken the protective film off yet. But as I mentioned, I do have this carbon fibre 5D vinyl, which I really like. I haven't even opened it. And I've had it quite a while. I think I bought it and didn't really know what I wanted to do with it, but, uh, you know, it's there. So I might might cover that in there. I also received the plastic red handles, which now I've received them, I'm not massively keen. But, you know, they weren't that expensive, and I do have these ones, as I mentioned. And also the black bolts. Um, so I've got a choice of either these black or the silver. I would have liked them anodized, but to be fair, um, these I didn't even have to buy. These were given to me, so when it's free, you can't complain. So uh, they're black all the same, aren't they? So got the black ones, got the silver ones, so I've got a choice. And also, I have a sticker, which will go somewhere. I did want an A86. Uh, related sticker but unfortunately the one that I originally had in mind the company couldn't print it to the size that I required and also this kind of goes of all jack cars really doesn't it especially in initial D fans um, if you know what the uh, the two gay stage is on initial D so I quite like that idea so what I'm going to do next is lay the perspex on the back of the rim and I'll mark all the holes and I will drill them ready to receive the bolts. Okay, so that's the holes marked there. You can just about see. We see better if I remove that. Yep, so there you go. So what I'll do now is I'll drill them just over 6mm just so they're um, a tiny little bit of tolerance for those. Right, let's clean these up. Definitely like the uh, black bolts, so these might be the winner. But I will try the silver ones and just see which ones that uh, I feel look better. But so far, I quite like the look of the silver and the black. I'm only mocking this up at the moment, these aren't the final fixings. Um, it's just so I get, get an idea of look for you guys. And I've got a selection there of 
nylon locking nuts or just uh, like these ones just some stainless steel and I will put some washers on the back as well but just so you get an idea just need a clean that is it there so yeah it's looking nice so what I'll do now is I will mark the center point and I'll drill the hole to receive the quartz movement I'll measure what size that is there and I'll drill a hole um, a mil or so slightly larger so I'll do that um, and see how that looks and as I say I do quite like the gloss black or the polished sorry finish that they've put on there but I've just got a feeling why not a bit of carbon fiber so I might go and cover that all right what I'm going to do first is mark the center for the quartz movement so I know because I had it cut that this should be in the center 295 mil which that is Two hundred ninety five mil this way. So then I know that that is my center point. Okay, so this is, I'd say around 8mm, which, there you go, 8mm. So what I'll do is I'll, I've got a 4mm drill bit here, just to do the initial hole. And an 8mm drill bit here. Not a huge amount of thread left, but the nuts that come with this are very thin, so I'm hoping to get away with it. So yeah, perfect. So what I'm going to do now, i decided I definitely want to wrap it in the carbon fibre. So I will remove the quartz movement, I'll clean all this up, and I will apply that. what I'll do is I will drill through all the holes uh, sorry pierce the film so you can uh, see the holes and then we can fit that to the ditch and then if I do use this I'm trying to work out either below top or even the centre not quite sure but uh, yeah, that could be done at a later time so yeah, I'll drill the holes and we'll get it. I'll get it mounted. All right then, just this to mount. Just gonna eyeball it. Doesn't have to be perfect. But I'll try and get it as straight as I can.
And there you go. Really like that actually. So now, just to put the quartz movement in. And as I mentioned before, I do have these. I'm not really sure on which one I'm going to use, but just uh, to give you guys an idea, I'll just put these plastic ones on for you. centerpiece very fiddly and there you go one upcycled used wheel rim clock so this looked quite cool on the unit as I said everything was pretty much um, lying around so they didn't cost me anything all I really had to pay for were these plastic hands and the sticker everything else was available to me in my unit so yeah really happy with that and what I'll do is I will uh, take some pictures of it mounted up on the wall There you go guys, all done and mounted. Swapped over the handles for the metal ones just because I prefer them. And also found a spare 4 AGE sticker, a cam cover sticker, because I now run a domed one. So I added that to pay homage to my A86. Really hope you enjoyed this little video. Something a little bit different. This is the, the kind of things I like to do um, down my unit when I haven't got bits to do on the cars or helping out Chris and Ben with theirs. Um, a lot has been done to Chris's at the moment, really excited to show you that. So if you like these videos, please like and subscribe, and we really hope to see you in the next one.